Yes. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is Kubrat Pulev. He is a heavyweight boxer. He destroyed the more tactician-styled Bogdan Dinu. For those who are in the boxing world, Bogdan Dinu actually lost to Jarrell Big Baby Miller, who is going to be fighting Anthony Joshua, who after this come-from-behind victory, after suffering a cut from his eye that you just saw from Pulev, is now in line to face Anthony Joshua. But what is going on here has been a common occurrence for women in sports for a very, very, very long time. So it was an unwanted kiss. It was harassment in the workplace. We need to call it as we see it. That's what we do at the Young Turks that other outlets do not do. After the fight, Kubrat Pulev put this out on Instagram. To my fans, you may have seen a clip of me kissing a female reporter following an interview after I won my fight Saturday night. The reporter, Jenny, is actually a friend of mine, and after the interview, I was so elated, I gave her a kiss. Later that night, she joined me and my other friends at my post-fight celebration. On the video, after our kiss, we both laughed about it and thanked each other. There really is nothing more to this. However, it seems like there is much more, because when one Twitter follower, sports editor Jay Bednall, tweeted to her, do you have anything to add? Jenny Suchet replied, little embarrassing, kind of strange. Now, let me make this very clear. This is an uphill battle for women in sports. These are men with testosterone. I mean, like, do, do we really have to paint the picture here? They're going into locker rooms. Sometimes they're seeing... Uh, male genitalia, and it is still, it seems like, it's a barrier for women in sports just to get the respect. Now, it's starting to transcend, but we still have a ways to go. So in the past, from what we have seen, Joe Namath hit on Susie Colbert. I'm struggling. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Yeah! Huge. 50 Cent even tried with Aaron Andrews. 50 Cent here. I gotta go talk to Danica Patrick. Good to see you. Local news has taken its fair share of this. Oh my God, come here, mama, get some sugar. Into 2009, excuse me. And then there's Maxime Hamou, who was banished from the 2017 French Open because of this. <laughs> Yet going back to Pulev and even his Instagram post, he never apologizes. It seems like he excuses his behavior by saying, we're friends, we met up at the post-fight celebration. There was no apology whatsoever. Start with that at the bare minimum. The Independent went in even further. What Pulev did to Suchet is the epitome of this kind of sexist messaging. He took a woman who was doing her job and not only asserted his power over her, but completely devalued her as a person in a professional capacity, turning her into nothing but an object for his sexual desire. Unfortunately, as I stated, there is still, still so far to go. This is something that has repeated itself over and over and over again. The harassment remains constant, yet there is little to no change. It is starting to a little, but man, it is moving at a snail's pace. So what would I like to see? I'd like to see an apology from Krubrat Pulev. I would also like to see Top Rank come down on him. I Look, I have great respect for many in boxing. It'd be really cool to see, <clears throat> excuse me, a boxing promotion lead the way and mainly promote inclusivity instead of this from one of their boxers.